I'm Jessica, the Furry Family Coach. Thank you for joining me in this video. Today we are talking, this is actually just one part, we're starting a conversation about our dog's body language. Um, and really talking about our dog's body language is a very complex topic. Uh, it's often difficult to help people if you're not, as a dog trainer, if you're not right there physically with the dog, it can be very difficult to judge an emotion um, based on secondhand information of dog body language. And even, even firsthand watching a dog, it's not always cut and dry um, figuring out what emotion led to the behavior your dog presented, right? So one of the things that I wanted to talk about today is that it's not an exact science. We can, when we're talking about dog body language, we can say, well, their eyes look like this. So that means, you know, the eyes are looking like X and that means Y. Well, that's not always 100% accurate and we really have to take in the full body language of your dog as well as the surroundings and the environment that your dog is in so for example if your dog is squinting their eyes like you know like this they're kind of squinting and i'm sure that looked really awesome on camera um, but if they're like squinting their eyes that actually can mean two different things it could mean that they are you know that that they're just at ease but it could also mean that they are feeling fear so we have to take in the rest of the dog's body when we are considering what emotion they may be feeling um but we also in in taking into account what what else our dog's body is doing we need to take into the account into account the dog's surroundings as well. So it's not, you know, a 100% cut and dry science, even though if you look online and, you know, if you just type into Google how to read a dog's body language, there are going to be all these different, you know, charts and graphics. And I printed some off and, and these can be a handy guide to help you start learning your dog's body language. But you can find all kinds of, you know, graphics like this. Woo that way <laughs> on the internet that are trying to tell you, you know, how to read your dog's body language. But if you're not taking their whole body into account, then you may be getting it wrong. And if you're not taking the um, scenario that your dog is in, whatever environment, whatever is going on around your dog, if you're not taking all of that into consideration, you may be getting it wrong. Um, and it's actually something that can be very easy to get wrong. That's why I, I try not. Anytime I'm answering somebody online or I'm trying to help somebody online and I'm not, I'm not physically with a dog, I always begin with, with the information you have provided this is what I think is possibly going on. However, there could be other circumstances, so, you know, around your, surrounding your dog that you haven't provided me and I'm, I may not be getting it right because I'm not right there with you or you didn't send me a video showing me everything that's going on before it happened, while it happened, and after it happened. You need to see all of that to figure out really um, to, to really be able to, to try to pinpoint what your dog was feeling in that moment. So um, another, what do I wanna show you here? So I wanted to just quickly talk about some of the things that your dog's eyes can tell you in this video, because again, this is just one part. The, we can do many, many, many <laughs> videos to discuss uh, body language because what your dog's eyes are doing can, can give you some insight. What your dog's ears are doing can give you some insight. Um, the stance they have, where they're put, shifting their weight can give you some insight into how they're feeling. Their tail certainly can give you some insight into how they're um, feeling, what, what emotions are, are coming out. And another thing that I wanted to talk about one other reason why it's not an exact science is because your dog could be feeling, for example, fear, 
And that can manifest in many different behaviors. And those behaviors can also be manifestations of other emotions. So it's not a 100% cut and dry science. And I really wanted to just come on and talk to you really quickly about it um, because I see a lot on social media, specifically people will say, my dog did this, or they'll post you know, a video, you know, a 20 second clip and say, you know, people will come in and say, well, your dog is fearful. And that may very well be, but you're not seeing the whole picture. And so it can be really difficult to really pinpoint um, on social media specifically. And that kind of seems to be where we're going to answer all of our questions lately. Um, it can be very difficult to really pinpoint the emotion that your dog is feeling um, just in, in a secondhand um, account of what happened or a short video clip that doesn't provide everything that's going on in the area your dog is before, during, and after. You really need all of that information to pinpoint, um, you know, to try and pinpoint an emotion that your dog may be feeling. Um, so specifically, let's talk about your dog's eyes today. So if your dog has what we like to call soft eyes, um, which are just like my eyes right now, they're very relaxed, um, you know, I may be looking at you, but I may not necessarily be staring directly into your eyes, but I'm very relaxed. I'm looking at you. I'm not, you know, I may be walking towards you. This is a very happy, calm, um, a, a very calm way of looking at it, at another dog or another person. Your dog is, is good. They're in a calm state. If your dog's eyes are soft, kind of just like mine are right now, they're, rounded or kind of an almond shape. Um, you're not really seeing any of the whites of the eyes. They're not really super squinty. Um, and, and, and again, taking into account the rest of your dog's body language is going to be really important here. But soft eyes generally mean that your dog is, is feeling um, in, a, in a calm state. Um, hard eyes. Let's talk about hard eyes. So I know we've all seen this before. We've seen this um, in pictures and videos, probably seen it on a TV show. You may have seen your dog do it. I know I've seen my dog do it. Um, if you can imagine just like, it, it generally is gonna be accompanied by a very stiff posture with your dog, but just imagine like straight on staring. Like that's what we consider hard eyes for a dog. And that means that your dog is very alert that your dog is maybe not happy about something, that your dog is taking in information and giving signals to whatever it's looking at that I'm not okay with you right now, so we're gonna see how this goes. This can go one of two ways, but I'm not happy with you right now. So that's kind of what hard eyes means. Just like a dead on stare, right? And it's generally accompanied by a very rigid body posture. Um, and like I was saying before, the next one is squinty eyes. So I'm just going to kind of like, you know, for squinting our eyes, my dog does this, um, often, and it can mean two things. One, it can mean that they're just looking for what's going on next. They're, they're fairly calm, but they, they may have a little bit of energy. They're wondering what's going to happen next. They're looking to you to see, okay, what are you going to do next? And you know, they're, they're not giving off any aggression, but they're just, they have, they have a little bit of energy like, okay, what's going to happen next. Right. Or if your dog has squinty eyes and maybe they're in an income uh, and in a situation that you're like, Hmm, I'm not sure. Squinty eyes could also mean that there's some fear going on. So that's one of the ones that I, I say can be difficult to determine if, if just by saying my dog's eyes are squinty right now, what does that mean? Well, I also need to know what other body language cues your dog is giving off. I need to know what situation they're in. I need to know what happened beforehand. And, um, you know, what are you doing? Are you walking up to your dog? Are you... Uh, you know, is there another dog walking up to your dog? Like what exactly is going on? Because it could mean a couple of different things. Um, and another thing that uh, you can look for with your dog's eyes specifically is avoidance. 
So when humans are talking to one another, we don't generally have a problem with staring into another person's eyes, as long as it's not like super intense or for an exceedingly long amount of time. If we're having a conversation, it's normal to be staring into each other's eyes. Um, with dogs, it's not so normal. So avoiding eye contact is another one of those things that we look at when trying to determine what a dog's body language is meaning uh, in regards to what emotion they may be feeling. So if a dog is avoiding eye contact, or if they're kind of like, you know, this, they're, they're like not really wanting to walk up and, and look into the face of another human or animal, um, another dogs generally, then they are being fearful and they, they want to avoid the situation. They don't want to be forced into a confrontation. So that's one of the things we really need to look for, um, especially if, if we're, you know, introducing two dogs or anything. If your dog is avoiding um, eye contact and like turning their head, that's not a good sign. We need to start over, right? Because your dog is fearful, generally, if we're, if we're looking at like that um, eye contact avoidance. And the last one that I want to talk about in regards to your dog's body language, specifically with their eyes, is what we call whale eyes. And this is where you see a good amount of the white of your dog's eyes. So they may be like looking at you, but kind of like turning their head and you can see a good deal of the white of their eyes. We call that whale eye. And that is generally um, one of the cues that your dog is giving off saying, I don't wanna bite you, but I'm about to because what you're doing is making me very uncomfortable. I'm fearful, this is not okay. If you don't stop, this is gonna lead to me biting you. So it's generally a precursor to a bite. And it's one of the cues that your dog uses um, to let you know or to let anyone else know, they let other dogs know, other dogs know how to read this, that what's happening right now is not okay. I'm counting to three and I'm gonna bite. You need to stop. So that's kind of like um, something we really <laughs> need to watch for uh, when, when anytime our dog is in any kind of situation, this happens. I see this happen a lot with other dogs, with little kids. People think it's cute and they let their kids continue to play or push or pull or whatever with a dog. And that's how, you know, kids get bit because you're not paying attention. You don't notice, you don't realize, you think your dog is being cute. They're not. They're saying you need to stop or I'm going to bite. So um, I just wanted to come on really quickly. And like I said, this is just part one because body language in a canine is complex. And as you can see, I've spent, I don't know, a good deal, 10 minutes just talking about the eyes. And the eyes aren't gonna give you the whole picture. You gotta put everything together. Everything that their body is doing as well as the situation they're in, the environment they're in, what's going on around them, you gotta put it all together. And then we can attempt to make an educated guess at the emotion that our dog is feeling at that time. Um, and ideally, the reason that we wanna do this and the reason we wanna pay such close attention, the reason, the reason we wanna learn this is because this is how our dogs speak to us. And we need to learn their language so that we can help them one we need to help them through any fear and anxiety they may have so that they can be more calm and confident we also need to i mean we just we, we need an open path of communication they're speaking to us and we're not listening so we need to learn how to listen to our dogs um and body language is one of the ways that we can do that we just we really got to put some work into it. And uh, yeah, so I wanted to talk about that real quick. If you have it, I two more, two more things I'm gonna talk about. If you don't have my book, The Seven Miracle Steps, grab your copy. Um, I actually ran out of paperbacks. I have more on the way. So you can order paperbacks again. Um, if you want the digital copy, of course, you can order that as well. I did put a link in the description. Um, grab your copy, highly recommend it. It's, um, I mean, 
you can read it in one afternoon and start working the very next day or that evening. <laughs> so it, it just takes a couple of hours to read it. Um, you're really gonna learn a lot from it. That being said, let's get on to the second thing. I wanna ask you for a quick favor. If you would please, you can put in the comments below, you can go to the group, put in the comments. Um, I wanna know what you guys, what you specifically would like to learn about. Um, I'm going to be putting out some kind of mini classes and I wanna make sure that I'm putting out a class that you want. So if you wanna learn how to get your dog to stop barking, if you wanna learn how to potty train your dog, if you wanna learn how to crate train your dog, if you wanna learn how to get your dog to walk well on a leash, um, you know, loose leash walking, if you wanna learn how to get your dog to come when you call them, whatever it may be, put it in the comments below. I am, uh, in the process of making some of these mini classes and I want to make sure that what I'm doing is what you want. So go ahead and put that in the comment below. I would really appreciate it. And um, as always, thank you so much for being here. If you have any other questions, comments, please put them in the comment below and I will see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.